Hello everyone, Amod here from the Target Common YouTube channel and in this video we are going to learn how to push or how to connect a project from the IntelliJ idea to a Git remote repo or in simple terms how can we push a project from IntelliJ idea to a remote Git repo okay so many people are using Eclipse and uh, people feel like it's like easy to use and all right but what I believe like IntelliJ idea is much much better than Eclipse and if you are using IntelliJ idea so your productivity can be increased by 10 to 20 percent for sure okay so in this video just I am going to cover the git part means like how can we connect a git repo to IntelliJ idea uh, to an existing repo okay so if you see here I have uh, IntelliJ community version installed and if I want to show you the version so I am using the latest one okay so it's like 2021 3.3 okay which is a community edition so please uh, note here that IntelliJ has paid version as well and the community version as well okay so I am using the community version here okay but maximum steps will be same in the uh, paid version as well okay so here I have a simple project okay so this is a maven project okay this is like uh, a very simple Selenium main project where I am opening some browsers and doing something right. So it can, it can be of any project but that doesn't matter here. The only things is like whatever project I have here in IntelliJ here I want to push or I want to connect with a remote git repo and I want to push this code to my remote repo so that others can also access it. As of now it is in my local system okay so so before we start so there are some prerequisites we need to follow okay first thing git should be installed on your system okay git should be installed that is the first requirement and you must have set the some global properties majorly your uh, username okay and your email address okay so I've already installed the git that way simple process you need to go and download the git and just uh, do uh, click on the executable files and click on next 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 and it will be done so that I can take in a separate video but that should not be a very difficult task to install the git okay so if uh, I go to command prompt and uh, I will run some basic command like uh, I want to see which version I have installed so I need to run git hyphen hyphen version so you can see it's 2.26 uh, of uh, 26.0 I have installed and since I am using Windows it is install the Windows version okay so installing it is really easy you need to simply go git download okay and based on your operating system it will give you uh, like which file you need to download okay Mac Windows or Linux whatever you want you can do so it's the latest version 2.35.3 but I am using 2.26 something right yeah so that doesn't matter here the many things will be same I will try to update that just for my future version but now, now I am not updating it will be same as it is okay and once you have installed the git you should have set two properties okay that is your username and email address that will use for the uh, that I will show that where we are using it but just to set those two values that is very simple we just need to use two commands okay so this property is like user.name and user.email this property you can either set as global level or as or for a repository level as well okay so that depends on your requirement so let me go and uh, run these two commands okay i will show you that where we are actually using these commands okay while using so git config okay git config means we are doing some configuration so the command is git config and since I want to set this values at global level that means whatever repository I am going to use in that repository this value will be used okay so window set user dot name okay and I will set it like don't use double equal right that user dot name space and give the value in double quotes okay and enter 
same thing for email id so global user dot email and pass the email address okay these are just to use to tracking purpose like who has done who has pushed the code what is the name what is the email address like that okay so i have set the values if you want to see what value you have set or if you have miss uh, misspelled something so you can correct it again by running the same command so if i want to see what value as values i have set so simply you need to do git config hyphen hyphen global means i want to see the global property user dot name okay does don't pass any other thing enter so you can see what values you have set same goes for email okay so both user name and email address have been set okay these are the primary things we need to do before starting the uh, pushing the project from intellij idea to github or any remote any git remote repo okay so we are done with the basics then another part we should have one address right we should have one remote repo address so for that i am using github you can use anything whatever you want like uh, gitlab or bitbucket whatever you want to use you can use it i'll go to go here and i will create a, a new repo and repo name i will give get started with selenium repo okay uh repo updated something okay any name you can give it give it meaningful name okay so it's showing that update is available because we are going to have the public repo okay and i won't i don't want to add any read me any git ignore as of now and i will simply create repository okay so my goal is from intellij idea i need to push all my code okay all my files to this particular repo which is a remote address remote git repository okay that is my goal here so first thing if you uh, know some basic idea of git so generally we do uh, some steps right so first step generally we follow like we need to do git init right to initialize correct we initialize a repo or we mark or we make a repo as a git repo that is the first one to do using git init okay then second thing we need to do add and commit okay so in short uh, when you do git add okay git add means you are just defining or deciding what thing what uh, files or what changes you want to send to your remote repo okay that is called git add command okay once you have decided what you want to send to your remote repo then you to do the confirmation okay that is called commit you are committing okay whatever i have added that i am committing that these changes should go to your remote repo okay that is the second step and third step will be git push okay these are these are three basic step which we perform okay initialize the git repo using the first command then add and commit the changes or the files whatever you want and then push it okay these three steps okay so in this video we are not going to use any command git command we are going to use or we are going to take the help of intellij okay so so this is a main project here and this project i am using for the demo purpose so first thing you need to do if you see here uh vcs right if you click on this okay so you see here we see enable uh, version control integration so if any project which is not connected to any existing git repo then you see this option vcs and under vcs you see the first option okay and before that i just want to open this uh, folder where i have this project okay so here we can see uh, and i've already enable the hidden folder as well means it will show the hidden items as well so let me go and do this step first thing you need to do go to vcs click on enable version control integration okay and uh, 
here it will ask select a version control system to associate with this project okay so there will be multiple like git mercurial uh, perforce there's different things right similar to git so i'm going to use the git so let it be selected as git and click on ok okay so you can see it's doing the enabling git right you can see it's loading down okay and you can see here created git repositories okay so what actually happened okay so if you go here go to this folder location where early it was dot git option were not there so if you remember when you do the git in it okay or that means when we initialize a repository as git so that time dot git folder is created that is that is um, result of git init command so same thing we achieved in IntelliJ by clicking on the VCS option and clicking on the integration option. After integration, we can see VCS has been changed to Git. Okay, VCS has been changed to Git and we can see some different options here. Okay, this means like we are done with the first step means we have done with the Git in it. Okay, just I am trying to uh, link if you are good if you're trying to do the using the git command so what what you need to do in IntelliJ for it so for git init command you need to click on VCS and click on integration command okay now so if you see here we see the option git as well right here if you click on it okay so you can see there's so many things it will be shown so as of now don't worry about these things because uh, we are not doing anything okay uh, useful in this okay so i will simply minimize it i will go to sorry i will go to i will right click on the project okay and he will see git right so here if you see the commit directory okay click on this one okay and uh, expand this so if you are doing using you know, the command so first you need to do git add and then git commit but you can also run you can combine both the add and commit command and you can that you can do the same operation in one command as well okay the so same thing is going to happen here so right click on the project go to commit go to git and then commit so you can see all these files okay all these files are shown here and uh, okay so these files actually we need to send okay all these files are getting listed here so what you need to do whatever file you want to send okay you can either uh, do the select by selecting this one or i want to send all the files right means entire project so i will click on the parent checkbox here so if you click on this automatically all the files will be selected okay then what i need to do i need to click on uh, i will need to give some commit message right as we do for during the command prompt okay using the git command same thing like initial version okay so i've given the sub command given some comments and here i am selected all the files then we have two options commit and push and commit okay so this will see later what is commit and push but as of now i am simply doing commit okay so it's done you can see analyzing code and all it's happening something and it will be done okay so it's doing it's doing some warning okay so if you click on it okay so it's showing some warning right some code analysis warning okay so it's do some checks as well and it gives you some warning er and errors so as of now i am going to ignore this everything and simply doing the commit anyway okay means i am overriding those warnings i am just ignoring those warnings okay and we see nine files committed okay and this is showing the message okay so second step we are done right means we have done the git in it we have done the git add and commit so when you do the commit in git automatic uh, sorry in intellij automatically add will be performed okay now let me open the project and uh, if i go git and simply i click on uh, push okay that is the final step let me click on push okay so we see here we have not told my IntelliJ idea about this project like where is my remote repo where i want to push the code so 
and Reje will auto will not know automatically. We need to tell him explicitly like okay, what is address of my Git remote address? Okay, so for that you should go here and copy this. Okay, this is your address. This is address of your remote repo. Okay, where GitHub. So you need to go here and you see the option here define remote. So click on define remote and you paste need to paste the URL. Okay, by default it is going origin. Okay, click on okay and it will do some check whether it will check whether you have this project or not. Okay, and you can see it is going to master. Okay, by default new. Okay, click on push. Okay, click on push. So it's happening something and uh, yeah, push to master branch. So actually I've already done some previous examples as well. So in IntelliJ already uh, it is linked. Your GitHub is linked. So, sorry, my GitHub account is linked with this IntelliJ idea. But if you're doing it first time, so it will ask you to authorize yourself. Okay, you need to give your GitHub uh, credential and password. Okay, so once you provide those things, automatically your uh, uh, connection will happen and IntelliJ idea will push your project to remote repo. Okay, since I've already done previously, so it's not asking for me because it is already configured. Okay, and if I go and rephrase this one, okay, I can see my project is here and all the files are here, right? All the files are here. And uh, yeah. So this is the way we can push our project from IntelliJ IDEA to any remote repo. Okay. These are the basic steps. Okay. So they are whatever Git operations we have that we can perform using the IntelliJ IDEA as well. Okay. But this is the basic things in which I explained how can you connect your local project in IntelliJ IDEA to a Git remote repo. Okay. So that's all in this video in the next video we are going to learn how can we clone a project okay from git to your intellij idea so that is second part okay basics should be clear that i am trying to focus now okay so if you have any doubt please comment on this video or if you want to cover me any specific topic topic please comment that as well thank you everyone